In terms of the science courses, uh, there are a triple award science, which is three GCSEs. Uh, that includes biology, chemistry and physics. Uh, we then do a dual award GCSE science course, which contains two GCSEs. This is a GCSE core and GCSE additional science. We also do a single award GCSE science, which is one GCSE in core science only. Triple award GCSE science students um, will study chemistry, physics and biology. All three sciences are the same exam board, it's AQA, and all courses have similar structures. It's 25% coursework, uh, which is currently underway, and 75% exam. Uh, the three papers for each uh, subject to be taken in June 2016, which means I have nine exams in total. Uh, the coursework is an ISA, which is an exam-based coursework. They have three possible attempts and the best one submitted. Once students reach their ISA target, we, uh, they don't have to submit any more. Dual award GCSE science, is a similar format to the triple award. Yeah, the exam board's AQA. Uh, it's made of two GCSEs. Uh, one is core science, one's additional science. Uh, again, as with the triples, 25% is coursework and 75% exams. The students will sit three papers for each GCSE, so they'll do six separate papers in June 2016. The ISA coursework is underway as we speak and will continue for the next few weeks. Core GCSE science, uh, uh, students will only study one GCSE. Again, the exam board's AQA, again, the format's the same. 25% coursework, which again is underway, and 75% exam. These students will only have three papers to sit in June 2016, uh, which will allow them to get their full GCSE. I'm Tom Armstrong. I studied triple science, year 11. My favorite part of it was studying biology. The reason why I found biology so interesting was all the detail they went into, all the finite little things about it. I particularly enjoyed evolution and DNA and that subjects like gave me an aspiration to join to go to middle school when I'm older. The thing I enjoyed most about science in year 11 was physics and going out for the eclipse because we had glasses and it was really cool to see how it all worked after we learned about it. If I was to give any advice to any, any younger students it was just take lots of notes because if you're stuck on something you can ask your teacher and you have a lot of background information to work from on that subject. All students at Kent School are taking AQA GCSE science sort of courses, whether they're doing dual award or triple biology, chemistry and physics GCSEs. The lessons at Kenton are focused towards the skills and knowledge that students need for their Year 11 GCSE exams. Uh, teachers within lessons will provide regular homework, which will reinforce the classwork that's covered and help them prepare for the final exams. In addition, extra support is given to students who need it to help them catch up and help them to move forward. Each half term, students are assessed with GCSE style assessments to help them prepare for their final exams and to monitor their progress. Beyond the lessons, there's a number of things that students and families can do to work towards exam success at the end of the year. Um, using revision guides and BBC Bite Size are really, really helpful, as well as Caboodle, which is an um, online resource which we have for students. Each student has their own individual login that they can get from their teacher. On top of that, teachers also offer regular revision sessions after school. Revision is essential to succeeding in students' exams. Revision involves regularly reading and looking back at your classwork, revising as you go through the year. Sometimes it can be a few months after you've learned something in lessons before it comes back up again in lessons, so it's really important to look back over your notes regularly. Always ask for help if you need it, either from your own science teacher or from any of the other science teachers in the school. Don't ignore the topics that you're struggling with. Work on them now, because if you leave them till the end of the exam period, you'll find it really stressful. Make sure you do regular practice exam questions and exam papers. You'll get loads of these in, in lessons anyway from your teacher, but make sure that you ask your teacher for more as they'll have plenty available for you. The most important thing of all is that you stay healthy. You need to have a healthy diet, plenty of exercise and plenty of sleep. If you don't have a healthy body, you won't have a healthy mind. You need a healthy mind for exam success.